Hello there, Capricorn, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing good. And Capricorn, right now, all you got to do is just cultivate a sense of sensitivity, love, and compassion for yourself, first and foremost, and yes, with others, because guess what? Your desires are coming to fruition. So when you're in the energy of love, which you're getting back to what you love, some of you, you might have already found something that you love. So if you need to reevaluate re your desires so that you are aligned with things that you love, and maybe it is just getting back to uh, the basics or the simple things in life, if that resonates for you, but maybe we have found a sense of, you know, a, a challenge that may have made you feel lost at a point, but you have yet, oh, the best is yet to come. That's what it is. The best is yet to come. So get back to what you love because love is going to be the water that nurtures those seeds that are coming to fruition. Now you can trust in your own transformation or the power of what transformation brings to you in your life. Stay hopeful because I do sense star card with this as well. So Aquarius is coming through as well as water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What else for Capricorn? And also Capricorn, in case you don't know how it works on this channel is that I channel out whatever spirit so you bring a gentle touch be sensitive to yourself and others um, this is a time where sensitivity is going to work rather than you know taking on an aggressive approach and that's not bad or good it's just what it is i'm just saying um, it's more you know being again being sensitive to others right now um, be willing to hear others out too when the time comes but also be willing to hear you know, what is gently whispering to you? When I see deer spirit, I really sense um, a mixture of earth and water sign, like uh, the king and queen of pentacles mixed in with the uh, king and queen of cups. So there's just a lot going on here with um, utilizing your senses, utilizing your uh, emotions right now. Um, for the best of your ability to bring some type of awareness of what's really happening right now. Because if you are also, if you get challenged by someone who wants to approach you aggressively, just, you know, take a step back if you can, don't deal with it if you don't have to, or just approach it calmly. Okay. You're going to have great results that way. Uh, so just take that if it resonates, but I do feel a lot of you, you're in this place of really receiving, uh, something that your heart already knows it wants. You know, this has kind of been in your energy, actually. It's like your soul, your heart sees something before your physical eyes does. And yes, it's like you've got a divine being and guardian angel here looking over you, calling you forth here. Okay, so you're bringing just a, I'm also sensing this thing about this gentle touch. It's like you're bringing the right touches right now. It's like the right touches in your life. So this is why I was getting something about physical senses as well. So maybe we do want to surround ourselves with things that even feel soft just to be in that soft energy, you know, like a soft pillow, soft feather, soft fur. You know, things like that, right? Dead or alive, you know, I'm sorry, but you know how it is. Uh, things move on. Um, all right, let's continue and see what else does Capricorn need to know? Have faith. There's something strong about your transformation. I just keep seeing butterflies all over <clears throat> the place. And dove spirit is around too. So there's a lot of divine messages. There's a lot going on. I feel there's a mother energy here as well. I don't, a lot of you, yes, you may have like a, a mother on the other side coming through or a very strong, you know, ancient like mother or grandmother coming through. Because I'm getting this sense of like feeling safe, like, um, you know, it's like being, you know, knowing that you're being overlooked here. 
And speaking of that mother energy, I do feel you're like in the mother's womb in a sense of as you're reevaluating or if you've gone through that reevaluation of your desires, you know, we were talking about transformation. And so I feel that you're like in this motherly womb right now. So you've got, you know, you're trusting and having faith in maybe a period of, you know, um, darkness, right? Because in the womb, it is dark. Yeah, you know, that's the only way to to do it. Trust your, uh, trust your faith in this situation. Do whatever you can to build your faith if you feel that you're losing faith. Surround yourself by positive situations and people on purpose. This is about you stepping into um, a strong sense of power, acceleration towards things that will feel effortless for you. And I, I do feel that this uh, fairy, which I'm seeing as you being carried with all of these butterflies, which are your angels, what I see is like the five of wands over here. She's looking down and back at the five of wands. Strife, conflict, rivalry, you know, petty things, maybe even petty desires of others. I don't know, or self, whatever, right? Because it's all about realizing and reevaluating what we want. Oh, man, that's weird that I said petty desires. I was getting that today too earlier. So it's really interesting because... Yeah, you might be realizing something might have been petty or it's petty with others, right? And, and, and again, it's not about judging because right now what's going to work um, in your life to produce magic or what seems like magic is to bring a gentle touch. Because all you can do is nurture some important seeds right now that is going to be fruitful. So have faith. What else? <laughs> Aw, you're the first one that got this one so far, Capricorn, a spiritual connection. Mm, see, we're talking about water. We're talking about faith. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. There may be a new agreement or some type of agreement here. You're holding hands, you're shaking hands. Now also, trust your spiritual connection with the divine God, Jesus, you know, or whatever your, you know, belief is, it, it, you know, the thing is, is it's about feeling that connection regardless. And this is why I was getting this, like, even this mother energy, right? This, um, it's like an ancient, ancient grandma looking over. I feel that we have the same one too. I feel like it's a same. I feel like it's the same big, big old ancient grandma looking on on her beloved um, star seed children. Okay, a relationship has a connection, and also have patience. Love is patient and kind. Always see, especially because I do feel some of you Capricorns, not all of you, but some, you may find yourself. Um, being aggr aggravated in a sense when we are because we I feel like you've you've lost some patience <laughs> or you're up against people you know like that five of wands where you're kind of looking down and like spirit is just carrying you away like oh bye bye you know it's like flying over strife all right and that's what's happening here you're just being patient love is patient because there's something more important going on um I'm gonna sneeze <clears throat> Oh, bless me. Thank you. Okay. That felt good. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry if that was like right in your, <laughs> your ear. I didn't have time to pause and then sneeze. So anyhow, uh, patience. Okay. Let's, let's continue and see what else you need to know. Love is all around you. There's a lot about love, isn't it? We we're talking about love is the, uh, the water to your seeds of fortune connections, you know, all this good stuff. So love is everywhere all the time. Just simply acknowledge this as truth. And this is why I see as you do that, maybe some of you have already done that and you're, you're really noticing how maybe there is this sense of moving into a whole new direction and being unbothered. Good. Stick with that. You could be in, in tuned with dancing or just be more in tuned with the rhythm of your soul dancing to the rhythm of your own beat. 
because you're finding out what your beat is. Some of you took, you already have done that. What else for Capricorn? A physical touch, a tender touch can mean so much. Well, I felt like I was, uh, yeah, I do remember. I was talking about senses, physical sense. Yeah, because we're talking about soft things. Well, this person is a stone and she does come to life with a physical touch here. So, could we have been too much in our water, too much in our emotions, or too much in our head, or too much yang energy? Because I'm feeling like the more you can pay attention to the way things are feeling right now, all of your senses, the better you're going to start to feel too. So pay attention to the way things feel. Be open to giving and receiving a physical embrace or touch that's kind. Right? And here you are doing that too. I'm seeing you also embodying something where, you know, you're just... <laughs> You know, you're just really in this loving energy and that's a good energy to be. It's safe for you to do that. Especially if you've been feeling like you've had to control that part of yourself. Well, maybe let it, let it out now. Okay, what else for Capricorn? Oh, there's going to be more. Let's give it a little shake up though. Let's give it a little shuffle, shuffle. Appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love, no matter what. You know, and I really sense moon energy coming through. Possibly also temperance coming through. So Pisces, Cancer, and Sagittarius is coming through. Those zodiac signs may mean something or not. You know, I'm just, I just put it out there. Anyhow, every situation is an opportunity to grow. Um, love is patient and kind, right? All you can do is give into growth. I mean... You can't force that to happen. Something's growing alive. So we are practicing being this moment. Let's get a little bit more too. You know what, you know what she, this being really uh, comes off as is like a queen of cups, or not, excuse me, queen of cups came out earlier to me. Um, you, queen of pentacles, whether you're male or female, there's something, <laughs> You know, just lavishing in like good things, you know, again, you're uh, more, yeah, I feel like you are appreciating this moment too, because actually when you are paying attention to how things are feeling, think about that. You're in tune with that. And, and so you're in tune with the moment. You're not hopefully in your head thinking about the things you have to, you know, get done. I hate that. I really do. And I used to be that too, you know, long back, back a long time ago, I had to practice too of being in the moment. There was always so much going on, but just appreciate this moment. No need to rush. What else? Retreat, never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment. I really get that like star energy with this. I always do with this card. And it really, I mean, to me, it seems like it because it's number 17 too, but <clears throat> you know, quiet moments are good moments, right? So never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment, especially if it's been too loud and noisy. Cause maybe some of you are been hypersensitive to that. I know lately, actually, I've been feeling a little hypersensitive to noises, just, irritating me you know more than normal so but i'm like okay maybe i need to take a little bit more magnesium or something i don't know but i'm also being more in tune that you know there's also other things that are being heightened as well for a reason because there's a transformation that's taking place so those sensitivities are indicators that yes you've gone through or are currently going through a powerful transformation that allows you more on unfoldment, room to breathe and grow or allow others to breathe and grow that are important to you as well. Cause it all goes in, you know, hand in hand. The only thing that is real is love. Yep. Shift your focus back to love. 
Maybe that, maybe I, you know, I am seeing something in my mind's eye. I'm seeing a Oracle card come to my mind's eye that says, don't hate, meditate. <laughs> so maybe that, you know, it's like, I think that's so funny though. Don't hate, meditate. All right. So yeah, the only thing that is real, you know, you have, to, sometimes it can be hard though. I know, I know it can be a little bit of a hard shift sometimes, especially when, you know, we've gone through some things, but, um, remember love is real. Okay. Love is what creates. Remember love is that energy that is giving your seeds life. So just shift your focus to love the things that you love to do, the things that you know, love you back, right? Tend to things that you care about, your environment, your space, your home, your garden, your, you know, whatever it is that you do have or don't have, I don't know, but, you know, take care of those things and, and watch things really flourish and grow. Hmm. Now I'm picking up Queen of Swords because I'm kind of sensing there was a clearing of clutter or decluttering or pro uh, maybe there's a process of doing that now that's always that's not never a bad idea what else because i feel every time you do that you just you automatically shift energy okay we got emperor we do have aries coming through so there there may be a strong connection between you and aries you may even have strong aries placements in your chart you could possibly uh resonate with aries reading in this series Okay, hmm. I just like hearing slumber, the word slumber, but the emperor doesn't look like he's sleeping or does he? Maybe he is because he did land on the retreat. <clears throat> so never under, un, un, excuse me, if I could speak. <laughs> never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment. And emperor here isn't talking he is quiet so he is doing what he needs to do to control himself his situation right keeping his spiritual connection alive because look at eagle spirit next to him now i do see a strong sense of a spiritual connection with you and another or if you don't resonate with that then there is a strong spiritual connection that is between you the universe God, higher self, higher power. Let's just say that higher power, whatever you believe, right? <clears throat> but we, we do have something strong about you too. Possibly, possibly because I was picking up about something about five of wands coming through. I just feel like the, you know, and I was talking about declutter and look, we've got the sword here. So <clears throat> hmm. we're not budging. Yeah, we're not budging. Let's go a little bit more. You could find yourself spending more time retreating with spirit, with your higher self. Yes, maybe possibly with another. There could, you know, look at this like connection with the um, the third eye there. What else for Capricorn? Or I'm kidding. Excuse me. Sorry, Capricorn. I'm getting a card with this emperor for you. <clears throat> Denial. Yeah, there, I, I feel there's something about being in control here. I feel there's something going on with patience. Um, because there was something here that you know, you might have felt it was denied a person, you know, that maybe you wanted or a position for some of you that you wanted. There was something here. I don't know what it was. It was some type of fulfillment. And maybe you, you know, it's too out of reach. It's too hard to grasp. <clears throat> so we're having to reevaluate your desires, right? being in control of your desires. Huh? Maybe this was a pe maybe this was like a forbidden or petty desire, right? Not saying that it was a petty desire of oneself, but maybe in hindsight, maybe spirit spirit God and Jesus universe is saying, "Oh no, don't take that Capricorn cuz damn, we got something better for you." It's like don't have to worry about that. 
And speaking of that, it's like there's something about quality. Oh, there there could be something here too about uh, quality over quantity. I'm getting the best one. Okay. And that 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 may mean some of you have done or will be willing to make sacrifices in a sense because because you would rather have quality, right? Over too much. What else for can uh, Capricorn, sorry. Simple acts of kindness. If you don't know what kind of step to do right now, all you got to do is take one little step towards kindness to oneself, others, maybe nature, whatever you can. Could be something with charity work or, you know, doing something um, you know, yeah, some type of charitable work or volunteer work. I guess that's kind of the same. Anyhow, kindness energizes you, right, and brings happiness to those around you. It's time for Capricorn to get filled up, isn't it? Because I feel like you've been drained emotionally, mentally, and it's it, you're tuning into more of things that are going to help you sustain energy or recharge your batteries here. So, you know, all you got to do is take time to be kind to yourself and others. Maybe there could be a surprise act of kindness, you know, that you can do um, that will make you feel, you know, good. What else for Capricorn? chaos this is um interesting because oh, <laughs> i do feel there's something tied with an aries here or there's something aggressive going on here too and you know spirit is saying there's something that has been you know spirit created a distance between something that you want because either it's not the right time it's not ripe or there's something better disengage from chaos if you can or or start getting things in order, put things in order. There may be something with like seeing something ahead of time. So let's get a little bit more with chaos. What do you want, Capricorn? You know, chaos is n not necessarily a bad thing either. What do you want Capricorn to know about this chaos? Yeah, don't get caught up in a um in, yeah don't get caught up in weird things like that some of you you got to back off something you know you really do not all of you but some of you because i know a lot it's like some of you 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 feel it you know that you need to back off some of you you know you could be in denial about it in a sense because you're trying to force something before it's time and we don't want to do something see this is almost like Aries there was something that came up about premature a premature rebirth and I don't I don't know if that's like the same case but so, something about not doing something too too premature we want it to be ripe not look good on the outside but and, and rotten on the inside you know or sour Ugh. okay so cycles um, if you're wondering why chaos is happening and why things are out of whack or if it does happen, it's to, it's to break up some type of stagnation or cycle, okay? Now also, be cautious. I do feel um, Emperor is standing very strong. He is, you know, he's like the director of his own life. This is you. So we're... Dir oh. Man, that's almost kind of interesting. I kind of feel like he's directing this, uh, directing the tornado here in a sense. Oh, something. Oh, wow. Something coming through, something coming through, something coming through, something coming through. It happened when I was saying that director thing. What wants to come through with that chaos? You've been forewarned. I'm, you know, I don't, I don't, God, I, I don't want to sound like, oh, you've been forewarned. Be prepared. But seriously, some, okay, we may be giving or, do, okay, maybe or do not give 
into stress or worry that is out of proportion to the problem, okay? We're avoiding cycles. We're avoiding getting caught up in a tangle. Pay attention to someone too for some of you. If there is someone that is very controlling or or you feel like it's just a vicious cycle, you've got to step away. You've got to be powerful to step away from relationships that are chaotic, um, cyclical in nature, where it just keeps, things keep happening over and over. It's like it never gets to the root of the problem. And, and not all of you are going through that, but some of you are. So, because there was something about heeding a warning. I don't know if some of you are getting interesting warning indicators as far as your body's wisdom, but you got to pay attention to these little cues that you're getting in your body's wisdom because your body is also not just wisdom, but it's also your warning indicator, okay, of whether or not we want to sit and be gentle, maybe let a storm pass us because we know that seasons and cycles will have to go. This too shall pass. Maybe that's your mantra for some of you, especially if you feel a little bit, you know, a challenge, just this too shall pass. What else? Nine of Swords is showing up. You know, you can see what's going on there. So it's stress, it's anguish maybe for some. Sleepless nights. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through with that. Self-love, self-worth, take your time. Be loyal to being and giving to yourself, appreciating this moment. Because when you're ready, you're going to be gifted the best of the best. Okay, so I do see, you know, a sense of worthiness and loyalty, dependability, be that to yourself. So you're doing things to assure success, which means if we have to, if we have to cut ties in situations or people that lower our standards of respect or what we value, then we need to be careful, right? Because we don't want to be loyal to that. This is the wrong thing to be loyal to. Mm -mm. That's not freedom. So we are taking control of a situation by releasing judgments or any type of harshness right now, especially for oneself, because I feel some of you might be hard on yourself, okay? And you need to be easy. What else? Bloom wherever you're planted. See, this is emperor. No, no need to worry. You know, you are building yourself or may, or got into a position that's good for you, okay? Some of you might be worried about <clears throat> some type of success in, a, in, in some type of endeavor here. What else? But... <clears throat> Bloom wherever you're planted. We were just talking about seeds, weren't we? And here you are being carried. <laughs> All right. Speak the language of love. <laughs> Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. Right? Words right now are powerful. They're, shape, they're shifting and shaping the world around you. They're, they're, it's shaping and shifting how you perceive yourself. So words have power, they always have, but right now it's even more important to speak the language of love. Okay, what else? Message. Yeah, I feel you are receiving messages. You know, heed the messengers, aren't the more butterflies here on letting go. Sometimes when I see this letting go card, it's really weird. The way that it's positioned, I always feel for some weird reason, it's either a photograph she's holding or a phone that she's holding in her hand. Like she's letting go of 
maybe looking at something too much, being too enmeshed in something, obsessed with something. I don't know, she or he, I don't know. Like I know what hand that belongs to, but anyhow, <laughs> anyhow, yes, you know, keep, you know, keep uh, letting go of the things that you, you know, you're getting intuitive guidance about. Okay. Now, some of you, you know, I feel that there's things happening right before your eyes with this card of message here. Let's get a little bit more with the uh, message. There could be something with romance. You're, you're making room for some type of romance in life. That's what you're doing. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. <laughs> um, like attracts like. Yeah, some of you guys might be letting go of, of an idea or what you thought was an ideal situation or person here. Okay, well, anyhow. I mean, I do see you lavishing and romance here. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection because you've been, you've been practicing <laughs> and you are, you know, self, um, self-worth that loyalty. And so you're attracting what you want. If you long for more love, be more loving. Like attracts like demonstrate love, find out what is important to those you love and then act on that. See, it's just all about the vibration <clears throat> really and the frequency of love right now, because you're. You've got some seeds that you're watering right now. Find out what's important to those. Oh, I already read that. Uh, see things from a fresh uh, perspective. You know, there was a sense of, um, you know, embodying diplomacy, practice compassion. You know, that's that queen and king of cups that I was getting earlier. Love who you are. Absolutely. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of wonderful things life has to offer. But you have to believe that you deserve that, right? If, if something went sailing away, it's because some another ship is arriving for you. What else for Capricorn? <clears throat> You're limitless. I was just hearing something about taking yourself out if you need to. Okay, that can, that's like two messages. It was like one was, the first one that I was getting was like take yourself out on a date, right? Act as if. And then also take yourself out of an equation, especially when I was getting that thing about five of wands, uh, feeling competitive, rivalry, uh, envy, of you know, or feeling that off of others, you know? Uh, so anyways, you can do anything you choose. You are limitless. So, you know, this is the thing. It's like, you know, like attracts like. If you long for more love or more money or more compassion or more understanding, we just got to just be that energy, okay? Because you're a human being. You're not a human doing. So just you be, right? Human being. What else? Oh, I just told, okay. I was just saying something about a ship sailing away because another one's coming in. <laughs> I can't remember what other, another, two other zodiac signs got the true love here. Okay, so love, there, this love or a love that's coming towards you is once in a lifetime. And there's, cause there's more going on than meets the eye. Remember we're talking about the eye thing. I'm at, I remember what I was saying. Uh, your soul, your heart sees it and feels it before your physical eyes does. <clears throat> Get some rest. Take a nap if you need to. Daydream if you want to. Give yourself time to daydream. When's the last time you got to daydream? Because hmm? there's more than meets the eye. All you gotta do is be loyal to you know, doing things that tend to your soul, your spirit, your mind, your heart. What else? Buy yourself a special gift if you want, right? Consider your foundation because look at how committed you are to love. So spirit is just giving you a bird's eye view 
Will that be a bird's eye view? I guess it would be higher. <laughs> Spirit's giving you a view of what you've been building. This beautiful, enchanting home is your soul. Okay. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous because to me, this is not a plain house. There is a, a intri intricate details going on. And not only that, damn, let me tell you, it takes some time to have, you know, like your vines, those growth, all of that growing the way that you want it to. Look at all this. Look at all the detail. I've never, this is the first time actually really I'm looking at this because there's more going on than meets the eye. Is that what's going on? You're looking too closely at the imperfections that you're not taking a step back and looking at the perfections. Ooh, because there's a lot of perfections going on. It's perfect. It's imperfectly perfect. Can't you see, your angel says, can't you see? It's imperfectly perfect. Just join the fun. Laugh. Laugh more. Scorn less, some of you. Why did I say that? I don't know. Hmm. Well, it came out. And we do have the sword. So we do we do need to be cautious of the tongue, perhaps, right? Because tongue, the tongue, the words have power right now. They either, they either, they either give life or they take away from life right in a sense because you know and, I, and i'm not saying that that's what you do i definitely don't see that with you but I, what i do see is a very beautiful sensitive powerful soul that has had to endure you know the harsh reality of negative unsensitive fools <laughs> i'll call them fools i don't give a shit <laughs> Because they're, you know, to me, it's immaturity. It, but I've had to, in my own place, calm down too. I have had to tell myself too. There are just some souls that need to go around again and again. <laughs> Maybe they need to go through rebirths on planet Earth over and over before they start learning compassion, understanding the right way to do, to feel. But we also have to allow that to coexist because the reality of life really is, you know, anybody can build what anybody can do what they want here, right? We do have laws and things in order. We also have universal laws as well that are in place and in order, right? Do unto others as you want done unto you, right? So this is why you're just getting back down to your home self, you don't have to do a lot of effort. All you got to do is get back to or be in that your energy of love and everything else starts to work out. Everything else starts to flourish because unlike other immature fools, <laughs> I don't care if I'm saying it, you know, they, they haven't cultivated that. They haven't cultivated the maturity to be able to step out of self ego to just honor you know, aspects of oneself or others um, that is best for not just yourself involved, but for others involved as well. There's nothing wrong with letting go of caterpillar people if, if they don't want to bloom into a freaking butterfly, you know, who cares? <laughs> what else? And here you go, success, congratulations. We've completed a cycle or you've cut, you've cut some type of or um, are not engaging or putting a halt to any cycle, right? But also, you know, look at the moon. The moon is always going to go through cycles, right? The, the earth is always going to spin. I mean, we're always going to have seasons. Oh, that's another thing I feel like I want to share with you too. Capricorn is instead of thinking about time too much I think that if our if we could think just more in line of seasons rather than a year month a uh, week let's just if we can take life and just look at life as seasons then we don't we won't feel like we're aging or we have to worry about time or catching up or doing this at a certain age or whatever you know not I'm just putting things out there as examples but you know, 
Maybe there's a season of your life that you want to daydream, that you want to reassess, that you want to just be in the energy of love, right? <laughs> That's okay too. What else for Capricorn? Relationship patterns, cycles, cutting the cycles, <laughs> or, you know, stepping in, a stepping in, putting a block. It takes strength to recognize the need for change, right? Whether it's relationship patterns or patterns within, you know, oneself or, or whatever. But don't feel so blue. I feel like there could be a lot about blame. You might even blame yourself. You got to, you know, hopefully not. But I do sense, you know, you being a very sensitive soul, you can definitely blaming yourself because you feel more responsible because, again, we're more aware, we're more in tune, which makes you feel, you know, a little bit more sensitive, a little bit guilty, but guess what? You don't have to, okay? This is where you get to step out and say, oh my gosh, you know what? That's just a natural gift of mine. I could just take a step back and not get too enmeshed and deep into that, okay? You deserve the best. What else? Treasure your loved ones. It's, a, it's important to love others deeply. So this is a time we're just being in the energy of love. We're treasuring the things that we love. So just honor this moment. You know, if you don't have anyone, maybe there's a child, a grandchild. Maybe there's a, um, you know, a friend. Uh, maybe there's a pet. Maybe there's even a flower, okay, that you love. Then do that. Just treasure that. It's because what I see is like you're, you're winning, you're out, you're, it's like you're winning by being love and compassion over aggression and forcing, you know, that's this energy I'm getting. Okay. What else for Capricorn? Look at your inner strength because you are stronger than you realize. Keep doing that. Reevaluate what you, what you find is a weakness and turn it into wisdom, turn it into strength, or just accept that part of yourself, right? It's not good or bad, it's just what it is. But you're looking at inner strength. So again, we're, we're, our eyes are inside. We're not, we're not noticing the physical, okay? What else? Because I feel for some of you, you might come, you might be, I mean, I think we all do it at times, but it might be something about comparing yourself to others. Tend to the small things. Okay, don't let small things slide. We might, we don't want to overlook anything. And actually, some of you guys, maybe it's the small things that have been building up here. You know, sometimes, some, you know, sometimes people don't realize if they, if they don't get those little tiny things done, right? checking off those things, you know, your to-do list, maybe your emails, you know, going through your recycling, um, fixing up maybe small things around your house or whatever, wherever you live, you know, those small things, do that. It's like being meticulous and patient. <laughs> And just taking one little nibble at a time because it's a little mousy. So it's like, you know, you don't have to take big, big, huge bites out of things. Just little tiny little things will make a difference. King of Pentacles. Oh my God, here you are. I was talking about the King and the Queen of Pentacles earlier. And I was sensing Queen of Pentacles. And look, in fact... If you want to know why you're denied, I mean, look, you can't make this stuff up how spirit chooses these cards to work with. You know, I'm telling you that fruit look may, may, you might have thought it was good. No, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. you want something fruitier. <laughs> and also I am seeing, you know, success if you are, if you do stick to some plans here. Okay. And and financially too, if you stick stick to plans, okay, and you don't overspend and you don't overdo it too much, but also you do know, you know, the King of Pentacles, the thing about the King of Pentacles, he does know the balance between spending and indulging though. So there's, that's why he's sitting in King position. Anyhow, here you are, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I like what I see. 
I see what I like, and so will he or she. Mm, somebody likes you guys, somebody likes you, or they will, <laughs> okay? So I do see something uh, romantic or an opportunity to really flourish, okay? So you could have an opportunity of a lifetime, but yeah, we even had that like spiritual connection. Oh yeah, you got a, you got a good little, you got a good connection coming up if you don't have one right now. But that's okay. Some of you, you don't because you're preparing for the best. All right. Or that, or a position here. Whatever is important to you. It's going to be the heart of the matter. What else for Capricorn? You, lo there, you love to sing or some of you just sing. You love to sing, sing. Sing your heart out. Sing your goals. Sing your dreams. Sing your frustrations. Sing your anger, sing your anxieties, and watch it go away. I don't know. I just felt like I had to say that. Uh, be loyal to what you love. Do we have another card? Oh my God, you got another card of loyalty. Wow, you're attracting loyalty too. So some of you, you could be attracting loyal clients, business partners, people. Um, you know, uh, if you're an influencer of some type, you know, loyal like subscribers or something like that. But anyhow. Most importantly, you get to do what you love. You get to be loyal to what you love. Not this, not that. We don't, we're, that's the wrong, we're, mm -mm. that's the wrong thing to be loyal to, right? And this is what the cool thing is, is that this actually is invisible. So even though it seems real, it's actually invisible because it's only the nine of swords. So it's only a shift in focus. That's your power. Okay, what else for... Capricorn. Um, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. You're going to love it. Oh, you're going to love it. <laughs> Let's talk about this. <laughs> I'm going to show you this. <laughs> Where's that? Was there another one? Was there another? Oh my God. Was there another grape? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Look at the grapes on King of Pentacles <clears throat> and that sour ass grape that look tempting that you're you may you may wonder why can't i reach that damn grape damn it well because we're waiting uh for, for, for what the fruit to ripen patience wait for the fruit to ripen <laughs> because it's quality and it sticks around and it's good it just it's the best it's just the best okay what else Oh, that's kind of cracking me up. Okay, let's find out. That is actually it for your reading, but we're going to be finding out what you have to look forward to in the near future <clears throat> for Capricorn. And by the way, you do have two cards of success here. Look at that. Bloom wherever you're planted. We got a congratulations. We got a certificate. <clears throat> Some of you guys could be closing on a home or... You could be finalizing on things. You're, you're definitely coming into a successful completion of some type, okay? You're gonna be spending, <laughs> this one really wants to show itself too. So you will be spending quality time. Mm. What, what? Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't I just talk about quality? <clears throat> I know it says quality time, so quality person, quality people, quality energy, quality goodness, quality time. That's what you have to look forward to, listening and talking to each other, bringing a gentle touch, maybe kissy kissy <laughs> for some of you guys. Okay, what else? Oh, honesty. Oh my gosh, you're going to be you're going to be having some conversations and messages. Look at that. <clears throat> messages. Huh? There may be something here too with letting go of, <clears throat> yeah, there's something, speak freely, speak freely. Because look, speak with love and truth and, and you're spending time, you're listening and talk, talking to each other and speaking with love and truth. That's good. All right, let's find out how spirit is currently helping you. I don't know, these kind of got all a little out of or disorganized, but that's all right. <clears throat> How is spirit currently helping Capricorn? Oh boy, this one just fell in my lap. 
time for a deep dive <clears throat> and time to collaborate. Look, spirit has your back. I knew eagle spirit. Oh my goodness, I told you. Fly like an eagle and, and we're flying like an eagle, attracting uh, another eagle to us or other eagles, okay? So t uh, take a deep dive in something that's gonna <clears throat> pull your interest. You know, whether it's a relationship, um, you know, something that you truly desire, you know, you can spend time with it because spirit has your back. And also look at this, you know, uh, graceful swan here, right? Going to the depths of yourself, your inner self, and resurfacing something really important and graceful and beautiful about you and allowing that to show and bloom. By the way, I can't help but notice the whole thing about bloom wherever you're planted. <clears throat> and the, the swan has flowers here. Wow. So your flower, it's like the flowers constant are always in constant water. They always get provided for. This is exactly why spirit has your back. You'll always be provided for. I hope that was helpful. Love and light.